Hey folks, welcome back. I hope this finds you well. My name is Nathaniel and I'm a junior iOS developer. About two years ago, when I started teaching myself how to code, I made a lot of mistakes, especially when it comes to some of my learning techniques that were just awful. And that's why I've decided to make this video and share five things I wish I didn't practice when I got started. The things I'm going to be sharing on this video are my personal experience and my subjective opinion. Maybe you can relate to some of them and hopefully they can help you or assist you in making wiser decisions in your journey as a software developer. Okay, let's go. Mistake number one. I was trying to learn everything at the same time. I would learn front end for a week and then skip to back end and then jump over to game development and then UI design and then data scraping with Python, I was all over the place. Well, the problem with this technique is that you are never going to be really good in anything. You're going to know a little bit of this and that, but you're never going to have a solid understanding of a specific subject. Mistake number two, focusing on topics you're not going to be applying any soon. Let's say, for example, you pick web development and you go around start learning Angular, React.js, Vue.js and all the JSs out there. Don't do that. Only focus on the things you need to get your project done. Only focus on the things you need for a job interview. In your early stage as a software developer, don't learn stuff just for the sake of learning or by speculating that maybe you might need them in the near future. If you need React.js for your project, learn React.js. If you need Node.js for a job interview, then learn Node.js. Just because everybody's learning the hardest framework or program language on the market doesn't mean that you need to be learning them too. If you're just getting started in programming, your mind needs to be focused only on the essentials. After you've gained enough professional experience, maybe two or three years upward, you can start learning anything you want to learn, start experimenting with anything. But for now, only focus on the things you need to know. For example, I spent two to three weeks learning Unity and later realized that I didn't even need it. Don't get me wrong, there are a lot of great technologies out there. Getting to know them by spending a few hours here and there is okay. Mistake number three. This one is really bad. I never wanted to skip a code challenge I couldn't solve. It could be a code challenge from a book or an online course. For me, not being able to solve a code challenge in a book or in an online course meant I'm not worthy of buying this book or reading this book or participating in this course. So I would spend hours and days trying to solve this code challenge and if I couldn't, I would just skip the book entirely and the online course and just jump to the next one. Programming is hard and you need a lot of patience. If you can figure out how to solve a problem in a book or in a course, take a break and come back later. If you still can't solve that problem, just skip that page or that chapter and keep reading. There are some topics I had to skip in the past, for example, computer properties. The first time I saw one, they made absolutely no sense to me. It was actually when I started using them on a week to week basis that they started making sense to me. So if you're stuck, don't go crazy, just move forward. Number four memorizing code syntax. If there's one thing that can make a new developer lose their mind and rob them of their sanity, it is the syntax of a programming language. I tried to memorize every single syntax I came across. Newsflash, I failed. And anytime I couldn't remember a specific syntax, I wouldn't even Google it. Googling something was like cheating to me. I would instead read an entire chapter about that syntax and it cost me a lot of time. There are a bunch of syntax that I memorized in the past and till today, I never had to use them. The last point, point number five, searching for the ultimate learning resource. I was desperately looking for the perfect or the ultimate resource that has everything I need to know about programming or a specific topic in programming. I fell into this idea that content creators sell online, especially here on YouTube, that their book or their course has everything, everything you need to know about web development or everything you need to know about uh, Python, or about mobile development. And I would buy their book or buy their course and was disappointed. Even the best books and courses out there are going to be missing something. There is no perfect book or perfect course. There are really good books out there. There are really good courses out there. 
but there's nothing out there that has everything in it. So what you need is a collection of good and solid resources. And it can be tens or even hundreds of them. And that's absolutely no problem. All right, that's it for today. This were the five roadblockers that I experienced when I started learning how to code. Hopefully you can become a better developer by avoiding these mistakes right from scratch. By the way, if you're new here, please consider subscribing and give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. God bless. Let's say, for example, you pick web development. Don't go around and start learning web development. The last one is searching for the ultimate learning resource. By the way, if you're new here, consider subscribing and give it a thumbs up.